All right, it's actually, it's quite windy out here again, but you know, if I worried about the wind, <laughs> I'd never get nothing done. So this is looking down our easement road. And that looks straight down the middle of the 40 acres. This whole area here is all Aja's 20 acres. Bruce is back there on the backside, and this is all my 10 acres. So it goes 660 feet down that way. 660 feet down that way and basically a quarter mile that way there's uh, part of my racetrack so much open space I mean that's far away that is far away when I used to set up and help run a three-gun competition in Oregon we would set up long range targets out about where Randy's rig is. And uh, that was about 300, 350 yards. Um, that's a long shot if you're doing it with a gun, I'll tell you what. But it's just another beautiful spring day out here. Uh, 360. I always love that at the end of our driveway here on the, on the other person's property is this really big pinion pine there loaded with pine cones so beautiful I'll tell you our road system on the property have really come along it's uh it's about time to name them and uh I think coming up in a video, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to make a series of signs while everybody's gone and I'm going to name all the streets, <laughs> maybe something goofy. And then uh, when everybody gets back, they'll find uh, these street signs up. So maybe if you want, leave in the comments some ideas you have for the different road systems we have. Um, I have my driveway which then connects to the road that goes all the way through the middle of the property to Aja's. Aja has her own driveway and then road system that goes through her camp and then we have the easement road and then Bruce has two different driveways that connect um, to the easement road and to Aja's camp and then there's also one more small road that goes from my uh, middle property road up to Bruce's camp. So we have uh, a lot of things to my favorite name though Which is gonna have to be is uh, for Bruce is Bruce Lane. I mean come on Bruce Lane. I mean <laughs> It writes itself <laughs> So basically what I'm saying in this video is I think I'd like some help from all of you viewers on what to name the roads here on at least my property and some suggestions for um, some names that I can use to put some signs up on uh, on Bruce and Aja's driveways too. So when they get back, they'll have some cool signs. Also, uh, I would like some help um, naming my beautiful racetrack. And also my driveway. So this is my driveway and I've been debating on buying gravel but I'm kind of thinking maybe I don't need to because after all the rains we've had even driving over this when it was muddy and everything it never got muddy and it's because this is the amount of natural gravel that there is on the driveway and so I think that there's enough gravel and rock already there I don't think I'm really going to need to worry about graveling this maybe I'll maybe I'll have it done and so basically my driveway goes down here into my camp it's the original leg of my driveway and it makes a loop I could technically name 
the section right here with the loop that goes back around i could name that something else but this is the original driveway that went to my first camp and then it's the road that goes over to Aja's. And so this is probably the biggest road on my property. I've measured it from my camp to Aja's camp. It's an eighth of a mile. Works its way down and around over there to Aja's camp. And then this is the area that I was calling the uh, back 40 so if you look over here right out there in the middle is that one big tree that's right where the property line is it splits Aja's property from mine and then it goes down there quite a ways and then back here right around where that big tall dead tree is is the property line between mine and Bruce's so Eventually I'll do something with this area back here, but I have lots of space on the I have lots of space on the property that I'm kind of keeping open because um, Like I said, I'd like to make this kind of a family compound for my my family for You know to be just kept in the family for for good and there's plenty of room out here If any family members ever wanted to come out and kind of stake their own claim and you know Make their own spot on an acre out here. I would have no problem with that at all um, you know, I think that there's not enough of that kind of stuff going on with families anymore, but I grew up with it being that way. My grandparents had a uh, a couple of desert cabins out in Morongo Valley in California, and uh, I spent my childhood going there and really just loved it. And, uh, uh, you know, I want to have that same thing here for my nephew's kids and for their kids too, and even their kids, you know? I mean, there's, um, you know, there's not enough things kept in families, you know? Everybody's always in such a hurry to cash out and uh, make money and everything. And, um, you know, I, that used to be me. I used to be, you know, uh, on a lot bigger quest for the dollar. Um, not anymore, you know? I mean, right now, basically, if you were to say technically my job is uh, taking care of my ranch and YouTube, and, uh, you know, neither one's paying me very well, but uh, I enjoy both. We've got the trip meter set to zero. Sorry, that's what it took to get the GoPro in there. So we got the trip meter set to zero. Let's see how long this actually is. And I got my uh, my best co-pilot here on board. She's got her red, white, and blue, and she's all excited and happy to be here. <laughs> when we're riding around here on the property, this is her favorite spot. She is the co-pilot. All right, so. Okay, so there it is, 0.9 miles driving all the roads except the easement road. So if you included the easement road, I would say definitely over a mile. So that's pretty big, pretty big for our own internal road systems.